KPMG in India is launching its uh, uh, India Corporate Responsibility Reporting Survey 2013 on the 10th of December. Mm -hmm. And this is a supplementary report to the global launch of the uh, Global Corporate Reporting Survey uh, by KPMG, which it is launched on the 9th of uh, December. This report is a, a landmark and it is one of the most followed uh, reporting surveys across the world and the India report is the second in line and uh, this is also a much followed reporting survey in India. This year there is a change in terms of the uh, reporting survey. Uh, in the previous years we have been mostly talking about the quantitative parameters of the reporting survey but this year we are including the qualitative aspects of the report as well as part of the survey. It is quite significant in India because we are seeing a huge improvement in terms of reporting in India, mainly due to the various uh, regulatory requirements which had come in India. We are seeing almost 73% of the N100 companies, the N100 companies are the 100 topmost companies in terms of the uh, revenue numbers and uh, we are seeing about 73% of these companies reporting. Uh, we see a trend in terms of the IT services companies dominating in terms of uh, the reports of the most of the IT companies who are there in the N100 are reporting. We are seeing the financial sector as a laggard in this segment. Uh, although they are the most number of companies in the N100, but the number of reports from the financial services segment is very low. The most followed framework for reporting, we are seeing that uh, the uh, of the reporting companies, we are seeing about 64% of them following the Global Reporting Initiative, uh, which is a good trend because it's one of the most comprehensive reporting framework available across the world. The quality parameters, we judged it in terms of the seven parameters. Uh, we looked into the strategy, uh, the disclosures in terms of the strategy, risk and opportunities, uh, the materiality, the stakeholder engagement, the targets, the goals and targets which the company has disclosed. We looked into the disclosures related to the value chain. We looked into the governance and also the transparency and balance of the report. So when we look into these seven parameters and evaluate, we find that the Indian reports have a long way to go. On an average, the Indian report scores only a 40 uh, of a maximum of 100. But in this also the IT uh, companies they lead, they, they, they score, the average score of the IT companies when it comes to the quality of the report stands out at about a 65 against uh, a maximum score of 100. When you look into the disclosures related to strategy, risks and opportunities, uh, we find that most of the companies do talk about a, a clear strategy. Uh, the risks and opportunities are kind of uh, equally presented in the reports. But the majority of the companies do identify climate change as one of the major mega forces that can impact uh, their uh, business. Uh, from an opportunity side, we see that uh, many companies do identify innovation as the key driver. Um, so it's, it's kind of uh, uh, the, the equally the risk and the opportunity both are uh, equally represented in most of the report. On the materiality front, we find that very less companies or only about 35% of the companies do clearly mention a clear process of identifying the material issues in their report. Uh, in terms of stakeholder engagement, what we see missing is closing the whole loop. Uh, how did the company engage and how are they responding to those uh, stakeholder concerns through the report is missing. Um, when it comes to the goals and targets, that's where many of the Indian companies really falter. We only see about a 27 to 29 percent of the companies uh, who have some kind of targets which are specified in their report. Reporting on the supply chain is uh, lagging. Uh, we would say that uh, this is something uh, the Indian companies has to catch up. Very less companies talk about their supply chain risk. And also, very few companies talk about the risks related to their products and services as well. On the governance front, uh, is pretty decent. We have identified that four out of five uh, reports identify a member of the board uh, as the key responsible for uh, uh, looking into the corporate responsibility issues. But what is lacking in these reports is a clarity in terms of the governance structure below this person how this is being operationalized, 
how uh, the, the corporate responsibility is being reviewed, uh, that governance structure is what we find it missing. In terms of the transparency and balance, um, we will say that uh, as expected in India, uh, the, most of the reports are very high on the positives. Uh, very few, very, very few uh, uh, disclose any issues related to the dilemmas and challenges what they face. Uh, highlights are highlighted really, but lowlights uh, does not get mentioned uh, in the reports. So overall, I would say that in terms of the number of reports, India has progressed very well. But in terms of the quality of the reports, it's, it's a long way to go for the Indian reports to meet, meet uh, the global benchmarks.